In Uganda, rice farming is mainly carried out in swamp areas where the conditions are suitable for the growth of the crop. However, production lags behind demand. We produce 260,000 tons of meal rice, but we consume 300,000 metric tons of rice. So we still import 40,000 tons of rice. And production level has not reached a capacity where we are comfortable with because we even have markets outside the region where if we were to go beyond the 300,000 metric tons, we could still take it to neighboring countries that are still not producing rice. Scientists are trying to create a type of rice that will withstand dry conditions and extreme weather, as well as pests and diseases, ultimately enabling farmers to reap more from their harvests. All the rice grown here is for trials. Scientists want to find out whether they will be able to produce better varieties that will give higher yields. Another challenge is the quality. Many Ugandans prefer buying imported rice, which is of a better quality than that produced locally. Scientists are hoping to work out how to improve standards so that residents will start consuming more homegrown rice. We all realize that rice that is imported and processed meet a certain specific standard, which some consumers prefer. For example, some rice variety is uh, slender and aromatic and there a niche of people prefer that and others are not aromatic but do not stick when it is cooked so we also address that type all countries in Africa except Egypt import rice what, what, what obviously what we are what we are producing is 11 roughly about 11.6 million tons less than what we are producing um, and so um, we're still having that gap that we have to fill and which is representing roughly about um, an import market of about between five and six billion dollars. So it's, it's something huge. Both small scale and commercial farmers from across the country are brought on board during the trials. And scientists are hoping that their research will bear fruit soon to increase the country's food security. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Kampala.